Many are looking for answers after a suicide bomber detonated an explosive device at the entrance of the U.S. Embassy in the Turkish capital Friday. Sky News reports the bomber killed at least two people. Our source is telling us or indicating that uh, this suicide device has gone off uh, whilst the bomber was trying to get through or at least was near the x-ray machine at the gatehouse of door two, which is usually used, we're told, by embassy staff. And the New York Times' reporter in Istanbul says preliminary investigations show the bomber panicked detonating the explosive belt he was wearing. Security cameras did not capture the blast due to a power outage. The motivation for the bombing is still unknown, but the Times notes some are connecting the explosion to the arrest of Osama bin Laden's son-in-law in Ankara. That news was reported Friday morning, and according to reports, intelligence from the U.S. helped lead to the arrest. They range from leftists to uh, a Kurdish separatist group to Islamists. Al-Qaeda has carried out deadly bombings. And then you have this uh, bleeding sore of the Syrian civil war that has been spilling over the borders as well. U.S. embassies are now on red alert worldwide. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima. Multiple sources, the real story.